right off the bat i come into this goodwill and find me a little pair of doc martens so that is actually the first pair of doc martens i've ever found in a store that look like actual boots so i was super happy about that and i knew this was going to be a really good thrifting trip all right so th cruising through the store they're putting out new items because i'm here early and then out of the corner of my eye, i see this little push cart for uh golf clubs and some of these go for a ton of money and i didn't know this brand right off the bat but i will be going back tomorrow because when i comped it out sitting here it goes for like a hundred dollars if that's the right one so i make my way over to the golf clubs and everybody always asks like what golf clubs i'm always looking out for and i'm gonna have a list right here those are the big brands i always look out for callaway ping cleveland titleist and taylor now there's a lot more this club right here is going to be a titleist and i'll go over that club at the end of the video I'm just killing it here on the boots. These are a huge boldo. They are Danner boots, and I will go over those, but those right there, definitely put those on your bolo list, and that means be on the lookout because they are always a good pickup. So this thing right here is pretty cool. This is like a percolator. And the only reason I know what it is because my dad has a collection of these things. And I do end up picking that thing up and it's from the company Keystone. The other day I was talking about life jackets. This one just has too much mold on it. It's been wet then stored in a damp place. So kind of going to pass on that. And then look at this turtle shell. Pretty nifty. It is broken all the way through so I do leave it behind. And I hit the hat rack obviously on the last thing that I do. And pick up one of the coolest, oldest looking hats I've seen in a while. Air Volkswagen cooled. That's talking about the engine on a Volkswagen. All right, second stop here, and I actually ran into a viewer, Little Debbie. It was awesome meeting you today, and uh, I'm going through the sunglasses as I like to do. These right here, very good find. I'll go over these at the end of the video, but one of the better pickup on sunglasses I've had uh, since the Ray-Bans, which was only a couple weeks ago. All right, I'm waiting for this store to drop the price on these Skechers. I've been eyeballing them for like weeks and weeks now, and it's still $24.99. They have the white tag on it, which means it'll never get discounted. So, and it's still $24.99. I still didn't buy them. Uh, third stop here, and uh, this room usually has some pretty good stuff. And I do something here that I usually never actually look at because I'm kind of like uh, there's nothing in the store. So I have to, you know, go outside my comfort zone here in a second to look at some other stuff. All right, so I usually look at the knives, but I never, ever, ever look at the actual like flatware. And I saw uh, some bundles in here that they usually don't have. And I do pick these up for pretty cheap. Everything I pick up was like eight bucks. And I'll go over that at the end of the video. Didn't make a ton of money, but that's how I learn is I pick up stuff and then uh, research a lot of it and know it for next time. Making my way to the... 
registers and I happen to see some decent looking shoes but inside this shoe right here is I see some sun, uh, some glasses some reading glasses I end up picking these up because they're actually worth some decent amount of money and uh, I I don't know if somebody was hiding these me and my dad talk about this all the time because we find some really random stuff in really random places and we don't know if like people hide them and want to come back and find them later or whatnot but uh, if somebody was hiding those glasses I definitely got them all right, back in the house, and we killed it when it came to shoes. But let's go ahead and start over here with this stuff. So these right here on the back, like I said, I don't know anything about this stuff, and I thought, hey, there's a whole bunch. They look exactly the same, and on the back, there was actually a name on it, and the name is uh, Northland Stainless from Japan. And I actually did look all this stuff up, and this one I think is called the Love Story, that, that uh, design right there. And not a lot of money, but one of these, this serving spoon right here did sell for $5 by itself, for $5.50 plus shipping, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, I didn't see this whole set. I, I haven't even counted how many I have, uh, but maybe like 20 bucks on all of it. I don't know, maybe I'll set like these up separately as serving spoons i don't know how i'm gonna split that up but on the breakdown i say 20 bucks on that but i did find these this is the same uh kind but they're from korea and these did go for ten dollars uh these little longer spoons so right there i made more than my money back and this will be all profit when it comes to the spoons but i did do a lot of research on spoons and flatware and a whole bunch of stuff so i have a little bit more knowledge on that and that's how i learned pick stuff up research it and then learn for next time. Right here, the Titleist. Now this is a left-handed club, which is pretty nice, but these little Titleists, if that's a word, uh, the PT20, this is a pretty decent club. These sell pretty fast for me, especially going to be left-handed, and they go for about $20 plus shipping, but I did put up the other ones that I always look out for, Callaway, Ping is one of my favorites, and so is TaylorMade, but uh, golf clubs, Huge score when it comes to them around my area, but I just haven't found any yet. This thing right here, really neat. This is a percolator, and I've never seen one with a spout on it. So it's got all its innards, but the thing is, is it doesn't have its cord. So if, if I might have to buy the cord to actually, you know, get this thing to work. And on the bottom, it does say Keystone right there. And uh, some of these from that company have sold for about 45 bucks i don't i you know on the breakdown i say 20 bucks because it doesn't have the cord to it but uh i have no idea my dad might actually take this and then put it in his collection of percolators so right here um uh, these i don't know much about nikes now there is a code on the inside i did run the code and these actually did pop up i sent these a picture to uh mess all digs who's on youtube and instagram he's Definitely a sneakerhead, way more than me, and he was like, ah, I don't know, they might not look real. And then he was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be legit. The code is in there, and then there are some new ones that look just like this, so not too bad of a pickup. On the used market, these things go for like 60 to $70, so definitely a good pickup there. Doc Martens, these are the smallest Doc Martens ever, right? Look how small these things are. They're a size three, and I don't really know if that's a size three in like kids, or women's, or a size three in men's, or youth, I have no idea. Very small shoe here. The bigger sizes go for like 60, 50, 40, somewhere around there, 50 bucks. Uh, on the breakdown, I put 30 for these. I'll probably list them at 45 and see what I can do with them. These right here, excellent boots. One of the better boots you can buy. In really good condition, they're Danners. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Made in the United States, size 12, so a good size when it comes to boots. And the Vibrant soles are looking good. Danners though, uh, I used to wear these a lot. I actually wore these for three years and they do wear out uh, the soles. I would wear them out within six months. So I can tell that this person really didn't wear these a lot. So they, they, the boot itself is great. It's a really good boot. The soles will actually wear out and then you can actually resole them because that's how nice these boots are. Gore-Tex, waterproof, heavy. They're very heavy when you wear them, but uh, a very good boot and a very good bolo for you guys to look out for. Danner boots, uh, easy all day long. After I clean these up, shine these up, they even have the still the metal tag in the middle that says Gore-Tex. Usually I take that thing off of there, but uh, after I shine these things up, this is gonna be easy, $80, $90 plus shipping. Brand new, they are super expensive. This is a really cool hat. See what I did there? But uh. Air Volkswagen, have no idea. This thing's not online, haven't found it yet. Did the, you know, the Google lens, did all types of searches, I have no idea. Probably 25 bucks on this one. People love Volkswagen. There's like a following for Volkswagen stuff and this is just too neat. Uh, I'm thinking it's vintage because I've seen that tag before and that is an older tag. So probably a little vintage hat here. I'm saying 20, 25 bucks plus shipping. 
And then we did get these right here. These were actually in a shoe and I saw them and uh, I picked them up because I comped them. So I was like, why, is why are these in a shoe? And these are Ted Baker reading glasses and they're so comp for the exact same ones for $25 plus shipping. And then here is one of my favorites. I like sunglasses. If you have known, I really do like sunglasses and finding good ones. These right here are Maui Jim's and they are in really good condition. These are legit Maui gyms right there. The camera just saw it. There is a slight uh, abrasion on the lens. It's not really a chip. It's just a small little scratch, but the rest of these are, they're not scratched. They're in super good condition. And on Maui gyms, there's going to be the style number or the style code right there. And on this side, it would be the same thing. You just type that code in right there and it will pop up exactly what it is. And you can feel that these are 100% legit now. I think there are a lot of fake Maui gyms out there. Same as Oakley's, Ray-Bans, Costa's, all the whole nine yards when it comes to them. But these right here are 100% legit and they go for about $80. Now, some have sold for like 129 best offer. Some have sold for 80 best offer. Summertime hits, these are easy 80 bucks plus shipping. Hey y'all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thread Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about that stuff right there. So what I bought to be a full-time eBay reseller. I'll go ahead and clean all that stuff up, put it online, and hopefully flip it for a decent profit. And the silverware, I'm just going to keep learning this stuff. How, and this is how I learn. I, I buy stuff I know I can't lose on. Probably won't make a whole bunch of money, but the knowledge is going to be well worth the um, initial investment of $8 of learning more stuff, more items. So you can go out there with the yard sales, thrift stores, and pick this stuff up and make some money. Huge, huge, huge announcement. Kayla has launched our Etsy store. On this Etsy store is going to be machine merch. She has been working super hard uh, getting this stuff done. Right here, I'm going to throw up a little clip of what we have and what the site looks like. We have uh, tumblers, we have keychains, and we have magnets. We tried to do the t-shirts. It just didn't work out that well. And uh, But the, the cups are really nice. I've been using mine for about a month now. And it's a good quality cup. It just has to be hand washed because of the decal. She's been doing all the vinyl work. Did an excellent job. If you want any of this stuff, there is a link down below to the Etsy store. And we much appreciate it. Again, I thank everybody that's been uh, watching and subscribing to the channel. We, If you're not subscribed, it is free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Throw me down a comment. And you know I will always get you on the next one.